And the reason why that is with your kinks, it says about you, is because it's an expression of desire and fantasies, unconscious desires. Sexual fantasies and preferences often, often stem from deep desires and impulses buried within the subconscious mind, reflecting hidden facets of their psyche. And these facets may not be, may not be, they may not be aware of it themselves because they don't notice how it leaks so much how it leaks out so much about their character but if you're actually paying attention you could tell for example like you know i personally i don't like to judge people but like um like a lot of porn stars a lot of them you know unfortunately were were touched the wrong way when they were kids and so you see this hypersexuality and willingness to be on camera and to uh, for the public to see it usually comes a lot of the times because of that of the past right so so when you see that you don't just judge everyone and say oh look this person got you know uh taken advantage of but that it, it, it it's it's such it, it it says so much about them that's all i gotta say man and, and another thing is that it has symbolic meaning kinks can symbolize psychological needs fears or past experiences that manifest in the realm of sexuality as a way to express or cope with underlying emotion. And, and, and also your kinks talk about your role of power dynamics. You know, dominant and submissive dynamics and kinks may reflect one's relationship with power, control, autonomy, vulnerability, and authority. And it expresses their psychological needs, right? So that's one thing, right? That's why I, like kinks will tell you so much about their, their dark side. Um, other things is observing who they hate feverishly and observing observing who they who they who who they're jealous about well usually they, they don't reveal to you who they're jealous about but they do indirectly reveal it to you through the people who they hate you know through the through the celebrities that they criticize criticize through the celebrities that they hate the most through the politicians that they hate the most right so other ways is observing what are the things that they don't joke about what are the things that they're willing to joke about and the things that, that, that are like the no-nos, right? All of those things tell you about them, tell you about their, their belief about themselves and about their, the, the, the hidden desires that they have. Other ways is unusual preferences and tendencies, hidden desires, unconventional or taboo preferences in intimate relationships or personal uh, fantasies may suggest a deeper desire or inclination that they keep private. So you have to take everything and, and understand that everything is a sign. Even the type of relationships that the person wants is a sign of their character. Don't say, oh, this person wants an open relationship and just say he just they just want an open relationship. You gotta realize that, that's, that it's, it says something about them. And if you just take that as a fact and not as a link to understand them deeper, you're gonna miss out on all of this. And the problem is that people see the facts about people as things that really don't reveal deeper nature. A lot of us don't actively try to connect the dots. What you want to be able to do, like an investigator who puts all of the evidence up in the whiteboard and you step back and look at all of the evidence, you want to be able to not disregard anything they give you. Everything says something about them. Pay attention, right? And another thing that you could do is, what are, like I said, what are the things that they're willing to joke about? Another thing is observe, it, it, this is actually a really good thing. If they have a dark sense of humor, if they have a dark sense of humor, that is a reflection that they can control their emotions. Studies show that people, not control their emotions, but they could process trauma a little bit better. People who have a dark sense of humor, who could laugh about really dark things, usually have are less aggressive and are able to 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 regulate their emotions better because they're able to laugh at something that's very difficult to laugh to laugh at to laugh not at but like you know what i'm saying so that's one thing um observing their dark side and this is something that people will always leak signs of their darkness you know people People want to show the, themselves to to other humans, but a lot of them feel ashamed. So, you know, one of the things you'll notice is that if you're meeting someone, you know you're never going to see them again. A lot of the times they'll tell you things about them and they'll tell you secrets. And the reason why is because people have a need to to show people who they are. And so, be, and so we're so tired of hiding our dark side that we just leak it out 
without even noticing. We leak out parts of our personality without even being aware of it. And that's what you have to watch out for. Pay attention to those involuntary leaks of their darkness. If you don't pay attention, that's on you. Man, you know, and, and like one thing that's really that that I notice a lot is like the the guys that are controlling, who try to who try to control their girls, or, and even the girls who try to control their man because out of safety, or because you know they want to know where you're at. Where made the real reason why is because they're controlling. They have a controlling dark side about them, and they hide that controlling dark side with the air of I'm just doing it to take care of you. <laughs> all right people if you guys enjoy that type of content if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, and you guys have some situations you guys want me to answer um, maybe somebody's playing you maybe somebody doesn't like you maybe you want to make somebody like you maybe you want to tell me your situation and, and see what I think you guys can click on the description down below and purchase a one-on-one -on -one phone coaching call with me that is completely um, confidential and nobody knows about it and they are be able to give you my personal opinion about your situation and at the end of the day when you work with me you're gonna get answers, all right? The point is, is that you're not gonna waste your time. Um, if you guys wanna do that, click on the description down below. That's the, that's, those are the one-on-one -on -one private confidential phone calls. And if you guys wanna be able to, for me to answer your questions, like you see in my videos where I answer questions, you guys can book an email coaching session, which is more affordable, and you guys can change things around and nobody will know it's you, and there you'll be able to get a one-on-one -on -one um, type of coaching, um, and I'll be able to post it on YouTube, and the beauty about it is that nobody finds out because you could just change your name, people. You say you're in China, I'm gonna say you're in Australia. Nobody's gonna find out, people. Now, I wanna make it clear. The private one-on-one -on -one phone call are private, confidential. The email coaching calls, as you guys can see, are things that I post on YouTube. They're more affordable, and they let me post a video on it. As long as you change things around, nobody will know you. So don't be shy, man. I love working with people, and, uh, and at the end of the day, it's my passion to help people. You guys have no idea how happy this makes me to be able to help you guys at an, at an individual basis. And at the end of the day, you're gonna get my honest advice. A lot of people bullshit you just to bring you back as a customer. If you guys are looking for that honest advice, this is the guy for you, okay? Okay, see you guys.